I think in understanding a project, most people look for a certain reference point. It's difficult with postmodern jukebox because it's not Broadway, it's not a band, it's not American Idol, it's, but it borrows from all those different elements. Postmodern Jukebox is a collective of artists that takes today's biggest pop hits and imagines if they were recorded by the greats of yesteryear. When Postmodern Jukebox began, I remember just calling a few of my talented musician friends over, told them we were going to record this pop song in this style and just do it as an experiment. I, I paid everybody in falafel sandwiches. I got a video camera and started recording these pop culture experiments and playing songs in different styles, just like I did when I was a kid. When I was growing up, I was really into jazz and ragtime and Motown and all these early styles of music and I fell in love with the piano. My friends, on the other hand, were listening to pop music. So to kind of bridge the gap between what I was doing and relate to their culture, I would take their songs that they loved and put them in the styles that I loved. The internet kind of took it from there. Ever since then, it's been part of this crazy grassroots movement where fans have just helped circulate my videos online to the point that we have over 500 million hits on YouTube now. This is the first time we've ever done a Greatest Hits compilation. We've got our doo-wop remake of We Can't Stop, which first put us on the map and on national television. It's our party, we can do what we want. It's our party, we can say what we want. It's our party, we can love who we want. We can kiss who we want. We can live how we want. We've got kind of a 1970s soul take on Maroon 5's maps that has some of the most astounding vocals you're ever going to hear by any singer. But I wonder where were you when I was at my push down on my knees and you said you had my back and I wonder where were you when all the roads you took led back to me. Of course we included our most watched video ever which now has 21 million views. It's a version of Creep by Radiohead featuring the amazing Haley Reinhardt. But I hope that anybody that picks up the essentials is inspired by the wide range of styles that we have on this album to explore more of the PMJ catalog. We've got new songs coming out every week. We've got 10 other albums. This is just the starting point and this is the most essential. I don't care if it hurts.